Hi guys, welcome back with another video. Yes, my hair is a mess, and I did I didn't upload the other two videos that I was gonna upload, but this is gonna be the most random video you ever see. Yes, I'm wearing a different shirt. Voila, Mazel Tov. Um, anyways, today I was I celebrate the holiday Rosh Hashanah, and I go to the synagogue to hear. There's a special thing to hear that's like, like that's good to do. Um, it's called the shofar, and I'm not sure if any of you guys are aware of it. It's like a horn blowing from like a ram. And it's like a mitzvah, which is like a good deed or something like that for like Judaism kind of thing like that. Um, to do that, to go there to the synagogue. So I went there to the synagogue and on the way there, me and my sister were going. Um, and I saw a whole bunch of books, a whole bunch of random books. And like it was all in like giant, like these bags and whatever. I was looking through them and I collected one or two. But we really, we had to, we were like going to be late. So we had to, I had to like. It it wasn't, the, like, the synagogue's not far from where the spot where the books were, but I wanted to share the books that I got, because I don't even know if I'm going to read them or not. I just see, I saw Alice in Looking Glass, but I didn't get it, because I'm not, I don't really like, I never really liked Alice in Wonderland. I, I just find it very boring, in my opinion. Um, and I did get a bunch of boring books here, probably, but I wanted to share with you guys, because I got a few books. One book I'm mostly excited about, I'm going to do that one last. Um, but I'm going to do... A bunch of books. I probably am, okay. Basically, I just collect books, and I probably won't end up reading them until like ever, <laughs> cause like, like I just buy, I just get random book. I'm like, this seems interesting. I don't even know what this is gonna be about, but the title looked interesting. It's called Apathy by Paul Neiland. This is gonna go up before any other video videos because yeah. So I don't really know what it is. It says the only thing. Shang cares about is leaving, but his time is compl complicated, and there's statistic, sadistic, cooperative climber who thinks that she's his girlfriend and rented some. I don't even know. Um, look, it says rented. I rented s subsided affair with his landlord wife, dentist who won't stop crying, and a deaf woman who ends up dead. This is the weirdest book ever. <laughs> when Shang buys. He suspects he's gonna... Guys, I don't know why I just picked this up, but this is the strangest book ever. <laughs> I'll probably throw it out, but I'm I'm probably gonna like give it to Goodwill or something. Um but I, I tried I mean, maybe I'll sell it on on Amazon, uh, on eBay. I'm gonna start selling stuff when I when I get familiar with selling things. Okay, that's that book. This book I like thought it was like this, I, this is such a weird shape book. Look how weird this is. What is this? This is the weirdest shape book ever. It's like this long book. Basically, I thought this was Agatha uh, Christie because I thought it was like down on the, I thought it was like down on the murder of the Nile or whatever it was called. But it says down on the murder of Mile. I thought it was that, but. It's too good to be true. This one's like really weird. This one's also like really strange. What? It says it's funny, moving, completely authentic. It's the math that heals destruction. This one says, is after exhausting their resources in the slums of Los Angeles, a junkie and his wife settle in London, Myrtle Mile, Murder Mile, the city's most violent criminal corporation section. Receiving failed treatments, pers persistent temptation, urban even. And wife transitions that this is the weirdest book. Oh my god, why did I pick up the craziest book? A heroin addict. Guys, I'm so cuckoo. Oh my god, I think that's the weirdest books. <laughs> I'm so messed up. Oh my god, guys. Okay, and then I got two other books that are classics that I would love, I want to own for my collection, which I probably won't read. Um, this one I read the graphic novel on, so I just picked up two classics. Um, one of them is Animal Farm, and it literally just says, I hate Animal Farm. It came on, and I, I didn't write that. So I just got it, because now I have an extra copy of my own copy. And it now it displays that I hate it, which I don't. I never said I hated it. I never even read it. So that, I, I, I just picked a bunch of random books. I even have more some random books in my room up, up above on my shelves that I, I would never read. I probably would never read these books. I just I just got them, because they were free books. They were sitting on the sidewalk. What else was I supposed to do, you know? I'll tell you my my the most the most excited book that I'm actually gonna read, um is is the last one I'm gonna show you. So then I got Animal Farm. 
And this person literally, like, hated it so much. They literally drew on the face and, like, drew on him there. Um, and then the last, this is the second to last book I got was 451 Fahrenheit, 451 Classic. Just got it to own it, you know? Why not? Because I don't mind owning classics. I actually, it was, it's a really weird. It's like burning books down, like... It's illegal to have books or something. I forgot the concept of it. I read, I read the graphic novel, but I might end up reading that one day. I just need, I just getting a collection of books. Okay, the last book I'm so excited for, because I've been really like wanting to read this book for a long time. I think it's a murder mystery as well, or something. This is kind of like Girl on the Train, but a different book, which is Gone Girl, which, which um, I'm really excited for. So. This book was going to be my next read after I finished some book from my library. I was so happy when I found this book. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so happy. This book. It better be good. I, I I thought it was something like The Girl on the Train. Then there's another book I want to read. These two other ones. It's by the like Sharp Objects and some other one. So I'm really excited, guys. Yeah, I know. I just got more clutter. No, they're not going in this bag. They're going up in the bookshelf. That's what they're doing, guys. Guys, my gums hurt so bad. They, I have, I have wisdom. I'm supposed to get my, I should, I'm have to get my wisdom teeth out. I have so much clutter in my room. I, like, okay, I'm trying out over there. I'll end up there, but like, I'm gonna put these books away. Like I said, I get, the, I got just the dumbest books, just because I thought this title seemed interesting. Like, what is wrong with me? Like, whatever. It's like a regular book. I don't know. This will be up tomorrow, hopefully, because I have to delete the YouTube app. And then I can upload it faster, like in three minutes. Six minute video I can upload in like two minutes if I delete the YouTube app. But anyways, I'm most excited for that. And pretty much those books I got picked up from the random street. There you go. There was like Alice in Wonderland that I was gonna pick up, and I'm like, yeah, I don't like this book. I, I don't even like. I don't like the. I don't like. The, I, I'm like I don't care to read that. I also have it. I also own it. So I'm like, why should I get another copy? We I think we own Animal Farm, but I'm like. I don't, I, th I like this, it, this looks like a good copy, but it's also, it says I hate Animal Farm, which I don't like really care too much, um, but I'm really excited for this book, oh my gosh, better be good, and I probably will end up reading Fahrenheit 51 and uh, Animal Farm, but these two books, I might look at them, and if they're not interesting, I'll probably leave them in my room, and they'll probably be there forever, I'm joking, I'll probably end up getting rid of them, I don't think anyone's gonna buy them on, Am on eBay, maybe, I don't know, anyways, bye guys. I know my teeth hurt so bad. Okay, but I'm gonna go watch The Good Doctor. And there's two shows I've been loving lately is The Good Doctor. And um so I like The Good Doctor and I really like Good Trouble. They're so much fun. I love those two shows. Okay, I'm gonna go right now and watch those. Bye guys.